Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. Today's Five Ways Wednesday, and as promised, I'm gonna show you five ways to pack the 12 Little Clutch. Now, I've already done a really in-depth review of this bag, so I'll save you guys the time, and I will link that up above and down below. So if you wanna see all the features in detail of this bag, go right now and check out that video. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and get started with five ways to pack this extremely awesome bag by 12 Little. All right, so the first way that I have this packed up is as a planner girl bag. I love to plan. I love using my traveler's notebook planner and it fits so perfectly inside of the 12 Little Clutch. I don't have the messenger strap attached to this because usually if I were carrying this as a planner thing, I would not be carrying it over my shoulder. It would be down in my bag. But um, all of the clutches do come um, with a messenger strap, I just don't have it attached right now. So let me go ahead and open this up and show you how I have this packed for my planner gear. Now, if you use an Erin Condren or some of the bigger planners, like maybe the Happy Planner, this is not going to work for you. But if you have um, a B6 Traveler's Notebook or any kind of planner that is in the five by seven range, it's gonna fit really great in here. So what I've done is over here on this side where the elastics are, I have placed my planner. Now you don't have to put it in the elastics, but I kind of like having it in there so that it's not getting all jostled around and whatnot. It's definitely quicker to get this out when it's not in the elastics, so if I know I'm gonna be grabbing for it a lot, I wouldn't put it in there. But it is nice to know that you can keep this nice and secured down so that it's not flopping open while you're moving around. Over here in the removable mesh pouch, I just have quite a few things that I grab for while I'm planning. So I've got some Scotch Extra Strength tape, as well as some washi that I know I'm gonna be using this week in my planner. I have some scissors, because you just are always finding need for that. And then down in the bottom, I have two different pens, one with a thick ink and one with a thinner ink. And that was pretty much all I kept in there because I didn't want to bulk up the bag too much. Now over here, there's this slip pocket thingy. And uh, I've, I've decided to keep the change pad in there. The change pad does come with this clutch. And I just find when I'm planning in my really pretty leather notebook, I don't want to put it down on like a table at Starbucks or something where I know it's going to get dirty. So I thought I'd keep the change pad in there to put down on the table so that I'm not getting junk all over the planner. Then, in that slip pocket, I just have this little cute pouch that I got in this month's Planner Society kit. Now, you could use an itsy ritzy um, mini snack bag in here, you could use a wet bag or any kind of little pouch that you have, but I wanted to use this one because I just got it in the mail and it's so cute. And what I have in here is just a bunch of functional stickers that I'm going to be using this month, some little page flags, uh, my header kind of things that go on the top of my inserts, die cuts that came with my kit and obviously these are all still packaged so I have not done this month's setup yet but I'll be doing it soon and when I'm ready to be out somewhere to work on my planner I can just grab this clutch have everything that I need to get started and go now the other thing that I do like about this is um, I mentioned that I probably would not be using this as a purse if I were um, like carrying my planner in it I probably would just have it in a bag but if I were going to go out somewhere just to Starbucks to do some planning, I can definitely fit my um, Jujube Be Charged in there, just in this little back slip pocket here. And my phone fits really nicely in there as well. So it does make a nice little planner gear purse if that's what you want to use it for. All right, this is the blush print, which you guys have seen so much of in my other Instagram stories and YouTube videos. Uh, this one is packed for cloth diapering because I've had a lot of requests to see that. I've decided that I like keeping the messenger strap on this clutch when I have it in my diapering bag uh, packed for just diapering needs because this way if I want to like pull this out and just carry this on its own without carrying the big diaper bag, I can always do that. So like I said, I did pack this up for cloth. Here is a peek up at the top. You can see I have two cloth diapers here. These are both Imagine all-in-ones. I could probably fit more, but it would be a little bit of a, a, a tight squeeze. I have noticed that um, like the Smart Bottoms all-in-ones fit a little bit better, but this just happens to be how I had this packed up today. So over here on this side, I do, like I said, have the two all-in-one cloth diapers. Um, this is Imagine brand. I carry them at the Sensible Mama, and I just love this brand so much. And I had never heard of it until I started carrying it, and then I just fell in love with the brand. So 
great, great brand for cloth diapering and a pretty skinny diaper too. Not as skinny as Smart Bottoms, but still pretty skinny. Behind that, I had the change pad. I know that last time I did a video showing this packed as a diapering clutch, I decided to put this over here behind the elastics, but one of my customers actually had a really great idea for using the elastics back here, and I decided to try it her way, and I liked it so much better. So I did have the two cloth diapers plus a change pad back here. Um, it's a nice and roomy space. When I'm doing disposable diapering, I can fit about three size fives and three or four size ones in here. So you can definitely fit a lot more um, disposable diapers than you can cloth. Now I do have the mesh attached in here. You can take this out if you don't like it because it does kind of bulk up the bag. But I just have two things in there. I have some um, hand sanitizer wipes and some butt paste. And then over here is, just like in my last video, I do have my wipe pouch 30 with wipes. And um, this is the hack that one of my customers came up with that I thought was so cool. In here, behind the wipe pouch, I have a wet bag. This is a Kanga Care wet bag in the posh print, and I am obsessed with this print. I think it's so pretty. And what I did was, if you remember in my last video, I was like having a hard time knowing where to put changes of clothes for my kids. So I actually have those here in the um, wet bag. I have a clean onesie for my daughter and a change of pants for my toddler. And with those here in the wet bag, um, they're just nice and compact. They go nicely into these elastics right here. And then if I am getting into these clothes to do a change because we had a blowout or whatever, I can just put the soiled clothes in the wet bag and put them back here behind the straps. So thank you to my customer who thought of that hack because that is genius and I've been loving doing it that way. While we're still talking about using this for straight up diapering needs, I wanna show you a hack that Sam over at Mommy's Simple Life discovered. I will link her channel down below because she's got a great, great channel for hacks and tips and tricks and things like that. But I wanted to share this with you in case you missed her video because I have been packing my bag like this nonstop ever since she showed it. So if you're running out to the store and you need more than just diapers and wipes and maybe a change of clothes, can you actually pack this up to have just about everything that you might need? And the answer is yes. Sam found the solution, and I just have to show you guys how awesome this is. So um, it, in order to do this, you do kind of have to plan on leaving the bag um, just opening from the top, not opening it all the way lay flat because these things will fall out. But what you're actually able to do is you can fit an itsy ritzy uh, mini snack bag two pack with snacks in here. It just fits really, really well right down in between your diapers and your wipes. You can fit two replay sippy cups in here, you guys. Now, if you have a baby who is bottle fed, if you pump, if you formula feed, whatever, you can definitely fit two bottles here, or if you have a toddler and a baby, you could do a sippy cup um, and a bottle, but these fit perfectly in here. I can't even believe it. Like, so I've got snacks for my toddler, I've got drinks for two toddlers if I had them, or if I had pumped milk, I could put Abby's bottle in here. Um, and I've still got this packed up for all my diapering needs. You can see how there's these two little slots right over here and those sippy cups or bottles just fit perfectly in there. And then you can still pack the bag up just like I showed you before with all of your diapering needs. So again, I have one, two, three, I think I have four size five diapers and two size one diapers in here with still quite a bit of room left to put more if I needed. I still have my wipes over here and that wet bag with a change of clothes back behind it. So all together, when I put this uh, everything back into the bag, I have my diapers, my wipes, a change of clothes, a change pad back here. I have one sippy cup, two sippy cups, and snacks for a toddler. And it zips up just fine. It's perfect. So this is the quintessential running to the grocery store, but still need to take more than just diapers bag. It's, it's the best. 
the best. I'm loving it. This one is in the camo print and I love this print so, so very much. I actually just got home from a trip out to Orlando and we had a lot of things that we wanted to take pictures of and I packed this up as a camera bag and I loved it. It worked so great for me. Just like I showed you before um, with the leopard clutch for planning gear, I did occasionally when I didn't, like when I had my diaper bag all packed up, I would put um, a Jujube B charged in here as well as my phone and then just wear this cross body so that I had my camera with me at all times plus my driver's license and cash and cards and things like that. But but this made a truly excellent camera bag and unfortunately you're not going to be able to see everything because I'm obviously using my camera right now. So I've stuck an Instax Mini in here just so you can get an idea of the size. This is about the same size as my camera so we're going to improvise here. What I liked was that um, anytime I was ready to take a picture like at the park or something, I could open this bag up halfway and just reach right down in there and get my camera out. Um, so it was really, really quick access. Because this clutch is nice and padded, I did feel like my camera was safe in there. Even if my bag got bumped into or tossed around or whatever, it just it worked out so well for me as a camera bag. So again, this looks a little wonky because my camera is not in here right now, but let me walk through what all I had packed up over the weekend. Um, I had a selfie stick over here in the elastics because occasionally I had plans to go live on Instagram and stuff like that. So I did want to have that there. And then I left the change pad in here just for a little extra buffering and protection for my camera. Um, and I also found that occasionally I did want to sit my camera down while we were out and I liked being able to put my camera down on the change pad so that I knew that it was safe and if it tipped over the lens wouldn't scratch and all that stuff. And that was really all I kept on this side because I didn't want want this to get super duper heavy. When it's got tech gear in it, it really does get a little bit heavy as you walk around. In the mesh pocket, I just kept some of my camera accessories. I have a lens cover thing. I don't know the technical name for this, but it's what keeps the sun from hitting your lens and creating a flare. I had my battery charger with a charged battery in it and a spare battery as well so that when my battery and my camera ran out I could pop a new one in and then once I found a place to plug in I could actually begin charging the dead one because you know you don't want to miss those precious moments because of a dead battery. And then the last thing I had in here was actually, they're gone now, but I had a couple of these lens caps because I lose these like crazy. Um, and you don't want to lose those when you're out on a, um, you know, a trip to Universal Studios or whatever because you'll be terrified the whole time that you're going to scratch your lens. So that was everything in the mesh pocket. Then over here on this side, I did keep my real camera, not an Instax camera. But like I said, my camera is about the same size as this and it fits perfectly in there. Next to that, I had kept my uh, microphone, but again, I'm using the mic on my camera right now, so that's not in here. I had a spare, this is an old phone, but I like using this as a monitor when I actually have time to set up a nice shot or do some videos. And then I had uh, a spare lens in here as well. So I had uh, my zoomable lens on the camera and this is my like artsy fartsy <laughs> lens for when I wanna get like that perfect blurry shot, like where the background is blurry. So I had that in there as well. And I have to say overall, this just made such, such a perfect camera bag, um, especially with the messenger strap attached. I just knew I had my camera with me at all times. I could so quickly pull it out um, while it was sitting on my hip wearing a crossbody and get right to my camera and get shots of my kids when special things were going on. So perfect, perfect as a camera bag. All right, and the last way I'm gonna show this clutch packed up is as a purse for myself. I've gotten so many requests from you guys to show this packed as a purse and I really enjoyed figuring out how to pack this up because now this is my new favorite purse. <laughs> All right, so back here in this back slip pocket, I just have a couple of pens. I just always find myself needing those and when I'm wearing this cross body, this is the part that's up against my hip. So this is the outside part of the bag. This is the inside that goes against your body. It's just a great place to reach in and grab a pen whenever I need one. I kind of have preferred just using this packed up in a way that you don't ever have to make it lay flat. So I do have the little sides attached here. Um, if you haven't seen this feature before. You have a little snap closure here that actually prevents that zipper from going down all the way, which is a fantastic feature when you don't want your bag to flop open. 
So here's how the inside looks. I'm kind of a minimal purse packer, you guys, so I don't know how helpful this is gonna be if you pack a lot of stuff, but for me, this is perfect. Sitting right on top, I have my sunglasses so that I can grab for those whenever I need them. Uh, beside that, over here off to the side, I have some face mist. This was a gift from my friend Jen, Perpetual Mommy on YouTube. She sent me like the sweetest care package of stuff after Abby was born, and I have been obsessed with this spray. It's like a moisturizing spray. You can spray it on when you have no makeup on or when you do have makeup on. It just really, really refreshes your face. So I like having that sitting off to the side that I can grab for it whenever I need to feel refreshed. Now everything else that's in here, you can see I can really, really easily grab for it without having to open up the bag, but just for the sake of you guys seeing how it's packed, I'm gonna open it and let you see everything inside. All right, so here's the bag all packed up on the inside. Now again, I did have the um, mist sitting like this, so it closes up and it stays right there. Obviously this would not work when you're laying this flat. Um, over here in this little side pouch, I do have a Jujube Beast Fendi. I'm pretty sure this is like an average sized wallet, so I think if, whether you have a Kate Spade wallet or a wallet from Walmart, I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit over here in this slip pocket. All right, I also have some wet ones over here just for cleaning surfaces while I'm out. In the little mesh pouch, I just have makeup needs that I tend to be grabbing for, and I do wanna show you, even though I have this laying flat now, when the bag is upright, so if you have it to where it doesn't open up and lay flat, you can really easily get into this mesh pocket. It's gonna be difficult to show you now that this is gonna flop open, but the zipper is here on the top, so even when the clutch is totally closed, you can reach in there and get what you want. In here, I just have some tissue, um, I have some highlighter, my uh, foundation, and then some mascara, and eyeliner. And lastly, over here in the elastics, I have my Bible. This is a Crossway ESV Bible. It's the thin one, and it fits perfectly in here. It's like the most perfect fit ever. Let me just show you. It's about that thick, and it just fits great in there. And I find as a mom, sometimes on those rare moments when I'm out without my kids, is the best time for me to really go to the Word and hear from Jesus and just, <sighs> decompress a little bit. So it's good to have that Bible right in there. It fits perfectly. I think you could also toss like a, a light jacket or something in here. Um, I, I probably have to sit down and come up with some other ideas if you don't feel like putting a book over here. But for me, this is the perfect spot for putting my Bible so that I have it with me in case an opportunity to praise the Lord comes up. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, again, I'm a minimal packer, but uh, I still have so much room left in this clutch that I'm pretty sure if you pack up a lot more than I do, you could still be able to fit everything that you need. So you guys, that is the 12 little clutch packed five different ways. I have all of these prints in stock as well as solid black. And the only reason why I didn't show solid black is because I don't personally own it. <laughs> so uh, you can get it pink camo, leopard, or solid black. It retails for $75 and it is worth it. I know you cringe at that number, but it is so worth it, you guys. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. If you're new here, welcome. I'd love for you to consider subscribing so that you can keep seeing more content like this. And of course, if this is the kind of content that you wanna see more of, give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.